So welcome to the uh, annual or weekly or monthly new car show here at Sumter Landing in the Villages. And uh, there's a car show here practically every couple of weeks. So here's all the regular stuff. And nowadays there's hardly a new car that isn't actually a very nice car. Because the manufacturing techniques have got really good. Everything handles well. Everything gets pretty good mileage. And uh, it's hard to go wrong if you're picking ordinary transportation. Here's a Toyota Supra. This is a reincarnation of an older model sort of sports car that Toyota put out. But it's got a BMW engine and running parts here. So what is it, a Toyota or a Beamer? It's nice. That's what it is. Well, you better bring a very big checkbook for this one. Aston Martin DB11 Volante. Okay, let's, let's try the bids here. Take a guess. It's above 100. I'll give you a hint right there. It's got 500 horsepower. It's, uh, it's a two plus two, but of course your children have to be very small and compact and thin, as Jeremy Clarkson would say. Of course, if you can own this car, you have very thin children. Okay, 150? Nope. 175? Nope. 262? 262? 362. No, 262. 262. 362 is out of your price range. Yeah, that's right. 362 would be too much. 262, you can get a deal. What a deal. Exactly. Well, if you want to go faster than lightning, you can. Yeah, there you go. Nice stitching on the seats there. It's got a funky shifter there. Well, in lieu of the fact that the uh, Ferraris aren't here, this may be the most expensive car here today. I think. Pretty much guaranteed. Well, America still loves its cars. Even if they are propelled by gasoline. Okay, Heartbreak City. It was just a rumor and probably a misplaced graphic in the newspaper ad that somebody just stuck a C8 Corvette in the newspaper ad for this car show. It was never intended that one of these was gonna show up here. So, Crestfall. There's apparently only 30 pre-production models roaming the country, but one of them was not supposed to be here. So, that was a neighborhood rumor, proved to be false. So here's a nice 2017 Z06 with the big engine. 15,000 miles, and a mere $69,000. Speaking of Corvettes. Nice paint color, kind of reminds me of my 64 Falcon. So if your checkbook is short of zeros, here's a uh, BMW Z4, the turbocharged four cylinder. Convertible, kind of like the DB11. And uh, you'll save about 200 grand over the Aston Martin. It'd be a nice quick little car, it'd be fun. I've tried on one of these Z4s, and this one looks considerably bigger on the inside, and I never quite fit, so I'm gonna try it. In I go. I hope all the controls are right down the side here, because I've gotta make room for me. You might move the steering wheel too. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I'm at the limit. Yep. Yes, I am. So okay, the steering wheel's got to go up. So, where's a little button for the steering so wheel? It's gonna be underneath here. Okay, there we go. And right. we're cooking the peanuts. Yeah. Jeez, I hate to say it, but they. <laughs> I hate to say it, but these Z cars are not quite built for six foot four and a half inch guys. But that's okay. If you gave it to me for nothing, I'd take it home and enjoy it. Yeah, we're gonna. We well, don't have to undo it. We're gonna take on a look oh, under the hood here. It's just literally like a little grommets. Yeah, it kind of looks like all cars yeah. these days. There's a Pretty fancy much. sort of an air cleaner type mm -hmm. thing, but it's not the air cleaner. Yeah, with the, the air, the air box, boxes, of course, over here. Air boxes yeah. over here. With yeah. even a little muffler right over here. Really? Yep. What to keep the valve train noise from coming back out that way? For what I understand, it's literally just to lower down the induction noise on the car. No. Oh. From what I've at least been told. But that's the whole idea of sporty cars to hear all that rattle crattle stuff. Sporty cars have now become grand touring cars, and grand yeah. touring cars have become SUVs. Yep. Zoom. Mm -hmm. 260 horse? 255. 255. And 295 foot pounds of torque, interest, okay. interestingly enough. Well, it'll go faster than you really ought to go. Okay, so we took the little plastic cover off. And now it's a pop quiz for all you automotive freaks. 
What's this wire do? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, I'm sort of done wandering around and uh, I went and found my wife and she was sitting here on the bench with this. Is this a hint? No, she doesn't own it. Not hers. So in summary, there was no C8 Corvette. I am crestfallen and heartbroken, but that is probably my own stupidity for believing that. I may have to go into city fire and drown my woes. Or maybe I'll just go home. Good night, everybody.